I'm getting real sick of the old Durthurt, the king of the Valandians. Yeah, no, the war against the Valandians is uh, it's going well. Uh, we have taken many, uh, uh, well, not many. We've taken some cities. We've taken many castles. We're on the verge of taking another castle, and we really can't let up. Now, I would be open to negotiate a peace treaty where they pay us tribute, uh, but if they don't, I say, hey, let's keep going. We're constantly winning battle after battle. The Valandians are no joke. They're a big kingdom, and they have a lot of soldiers, so we're going to have to win a lot. It's just, you know, right now, we're only at war with one faction. That, of course, is the Valandians. If that stays that way, then I'm all for the continuation of slaughtering Valandians. Now, right out of the gate, literally, literally, right out of the gate, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go try to kill these uh, mercenaries here that are fighting for the. Oh, you made a mistake, dude. You made a big mistake. You think you're gonna beat them? Think again. So let's just send in the troops. Start off, uh, start off strong here. We lost three soldiers somehow. Whatever. Uh, but that was pretty sweet. Uh, we helped out this other mercenary army and we're gonna take this guy prisoner you know i think one of my biggest problems when i play and get a biggest 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 dick is anyways one of my biggest problems when i play this game is i get too like attached to the kingdom or empire i'm fighting for and i just want to win for them instead i need to focus on myself because the stronger i get and the wealthier i get the more i'm going to be able to do by myself uh, so I need to just keep on hunting down individual lords, letting my army level up, and, uh, you know, helping out where I can. For example, like this siege battle. Uh-oh. We got another mercenary over here. 81. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can level up some of our troops. We can. Now, currently, my health is pretty low. Let's see if he actually... Yeah, he's gonna turn around. So I think I'm gonna just join this siege battle just to give him a boost in numbers. And, uh, yeah, we're going to help out in taking this castle. Well, we got ourselves a little bit of a situation here. Um, there's an army of 200 right now, 285, accompanied with random mercenary lords. They're headed for my castle. <sighs> I kind of forgot that my castle is very vulnerable right now. I'm not too worried about it because it's only 285. My own individual army is almost as strong as that. But as long as the other vassals come to my aid and defend my castle, I think we're going to be okay. So I'm going to help out here uh, and uh, just send in the troops. Uh, wow, I lost 37. Okay, maybe that was a bit of a mistake. That was a bit of a mistake. Hey, but our, you know, look here, our medic, our, our doctor got a lot of experience. Uh, and we, you know, we unlocked some troops here, so it's not all bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave the castle after that victorious battle. A lot of our troops are wounded. Whoa. Wow, that was a costly siege. Maybe I should have... Okay. I thought he was going to siege us there. That would have been pretty sweet. But it doesn't look like he's going to do that. He's coming for me, maybe? But there is an army of 400 on the march. You know what? I think I'm just going to join this army and see what happens. All right, we do have a vote for the new castle. And oh my gosh, I'm on the board. Uh, yeah. Yeah! That's gonna be... It's scary because I have a lot of territory to defend. But I'm gonna start making some good money here. Look how much money I'm making. Oh my god. Alright, so how much territory do I have now? I have... I have one city and three castles. Uh, yeah. Things are going pretty well, I would say. All right, well, this is not good. Uh, this army is not headed towards the castle. You know what? I'm going to have to summon an army. I was hoping these guys would go to my castle and defend it. How many defenders do we have? 46? Okay, hold on. We got to manage the castle really quick. So here's our new castle. Of course, we're going to have to limit their wage to about... I do about 900 something. I think that's a good sweet spot uh, for making profit off of the castle. And uh, we're going to make a lot of money here. We just got to protect what we have. Um, so let's just pause it here. Let's summon an army. We've got a couple mercenaries nearby. Uh, a couple lords here that we'll, we'll summon. And let's just take them all. And then we're going we're gonna to pounce 
on this enemy force and crush them. Whoa, he almost went after me. Yeah, big mistake. Big mistake. All right, he's going in. Let's just wait. Let's just play it safe. All right, we'll go in now. And we will just send the troops because it's going to be another easy battle. We lost nobody, which is good. And uh, we got some prisoners, which I'll just take. Even though we can't ki have them all, it's fine. And let's level up the troops. And yeah, sure, why not? Okay, cool. So that was a nice little defense there. I think what I need to do now is... I'm going to just recruit a bunch and get the garrison numbers up to where at least they have about 200 defenders. It's not going to be invincible with that amount of defenders. It just buys me more time if they siege one of my castles. The defenders have a better chance of holding for a, a longer time so I can muster an army of my own. I'm going to go ahead and disband this army. Uh, you know, it, it's a waste of influence, but we're making 5.8 influence a day. Uh, so influence is not really going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do now is just recruit from the local villages and give them jobs inside the castle uh, to, uh, to you know, defend the castle against invading um, Valandians. You know how they you know how they are, well, invading and stuff. They suck. I hate them. All right, so here we are. We actually have four. Holy smokes. Uh, the other vassals were pretty genuine. Uh, genuous. <laughs> generous uh with uh, the troops they've donated in here it's like sure it's only 41 but these guys are pretty pretty good uh so what i'm gonna do is i was just gonna drop off like the tier one and the tier twos in here um that's you know i think that's the best plan of action and just you know just try to uh make the uh defense a little bit stronger so yeah i got that up to like 52 we just need to keep recruiting and and uh you know, keep growing. And this castle is a, a bigger issue for me because it's on the front line. So I want to make sure they're well defended. Well, dang, look at this. Another army is sieging a castle. They are just not letting up. That is epic. Uh, so, yeah, this is good. I'm going to help out with this castle because it's more on the border on this side of the war. So if they give this to a different vassal, it, it basically it's like a buffer state for me. I know this is kind of like selfish or whatever, but I mean, if they give me the castle, great. That's another castle. But if they give this to someone else, it's more likely the enemy will try to take this specific castle back instead of my castles. You get what I'm saying? Capiche? You come to comprende? Oh, look at this. An army of 600 just showed up. Okay. Where are they headed? Oh, they're going to siege me. Interesting. Okay, so as much as I would love to help out over here, this army could be a threat. So I need to head back over to the castle and hope hope that I get there before them. I'm going to have to go the long way, but I should be faster than them. So I should beat them. Okay, sure enough, I did beat them. The question is, are they still pursuing me? Uh, I don't know. So I'm just going to chill here. And this is... Oh, they are. Okay. Wow, I easily beat them. Okay, so we're just gonna wait here for some time. This is gonna let our forces rest. Let's see if he actually commits here and sieges us. I would be pretty... Yeah, he's not gonna do it. I was gonna be pretty surprised by that, to be honest. And now he's gonna leave. What a coward. He's probably gonna try to, to uh, take this... Try to stop this siege over here, but he might be too late. I would love to take uh, Sargot. I mean... That's what that's one of their cities, you know, like their starting cities. But look at this. We're carving into the Valandians and I love it. Uh oh, one of our uh, lords are in trouble here. Let's see if I can get up there and help them out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get here in time. But I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes. But we'll just send in the troops. Very nice. Glad I could be of service. Okay, so we defended another... Uh, he's, not a, he's not a vassal. Oh, he's coming back. Dude, he, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Come back. Yeah, come back and attack me. I'm more than okay with that. I'll just chill in the castle. Oh, uh, and you're... What is he doing with that army? It's like, are you coming or are you not? Make up your mind. 
Here's the funny thing that I truly just don't understand. Uh, we still have to pay them a ton of tribute. Even though we've, like, taken a lot from them. Like, we have taken a lot. So, I don't understand why, like, we're winning battle after battle, destroying army after army. But yet, we have to pay them tribute to end this war. Whoa, here comes another army. Okay, so we're starting to see the armies form up here. I'm curious... So they're going to the castle to defend. This army over here is going to the castle to defend. Let's just kind of follow their progress here. Yep, they just took the castle. So let's see what they're going to do. They're going to... Oh, they're coming back to take my castle. Uh-oh. Not good. Okay, hold on. There's a vote. Who's going to get... Oh my gosh! No way, dude! I'm going to just abstain. So people don't hate me as much. That's another castle under our control? The Emperor! Thank you! Thank you! Oh my- look at- look at all the territory! I mean, I wish I had two cities, but I'm not complaining. This is nice. Alright, so we do have a situation here. And they're gonna siege us, so what we need to do is muster up a force. And there's a couple of lords nearby. And we're just going to summon all that we can so we can defeat this army that's headed our way. There we go. I pretty much summoned all the lords. I'm going to kind of use my castle here as bait and let them siege it. And then once I've mustered all the forces, I'm going in to attack. All right. So we do have... All right. Let's not forget to manage my new castle. Uh, where is it? Parties. Oh, look at this. Look at all the territory. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make it about 900. 982. What I could do is really lower the castles that aren't on the direct front line. And look at this. The other armies are coming in. So we should probably just be close by just to say, hey, we're ready to go in. I think they're attacking. And are they going to commit? Yes. All right, so, uh, we, yeah, we're good here. This is going to be a big battle, so let's finally fight one. We're going to stop the auto-resolving, and let's, uh, let's battle this one. All right, here we go. We're on the battlefield, and, uh, there is a bridge here that we might have to cross. Look at this army. It is a dark battlefield. It's a night battle. Where's the reinforcements? Wasn't there, like, another... They have 162 cap, 149 archers. I outnumber them in archers. The question is, are they going to charge me? Or are they going to hold the, the... Hold on. How dare you block. Ah, this guy's trying to end the war quickly, you know? Oh, that was their lord? <laughs> One of the vassals? <laughs> Always reminds me of the story of, um, what's that, what's that battle, battle of, uh, battle of, uh, they are charging, by the way, so that's good. Barnock, Barnock, Bar I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, it's the Scottish battle where the English knight charges, uh, charges, uh, the Robert the Bruce and he just, like, kills him and one, one, Robert the Bruce kills the, the knight that charges him. Anyways. Stand apart! get the archers in loose formation let's get the infantry forward they are coming to face us oh wait no maybe yes cavalry forward we have 140 cavs so we slightly are outnumbered but our horse archers got a considerable amount wow they are charging me this is uh kind of shocking Form a shield wall! We're gonna form a shield wall with the infantry. Look at them. They look sexy. Look at that infantry. Oh, yes. Troops! I'm gonna kind of stretch out the archers a bit more right behind the arch, uh, the forward. infantry. Move forward. Soldiers! Horse archers. I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to advance. Onward. It. Dang it. 
Yeah, so... I don't know what the Valandians are thinking here. I, I, I don't mind it, honestly. Let them charge in with their cav. That's fine. They're going after my horse archers. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to charge in my cav as well. They're kind of on the flank here. Th this cav is not even that good. Uh, you can tell the Valandians are kind of struggling at this point to, like, keep up their manpower. Or at least with, like, quality control. I mean, don't get me wrong. This cav force is scary as they almost kill me. Get our line formation into standard line. I'm going to go ahead and charge them. Oh, yeah. We are, we are annihilating this army. Oh, look at their infantry. It's so bad. They have no elite units. I mean, they have some good ones, but... Just crushing them. Oh, my gosh. Blandians. And we have to pay you guys tribute? Give me a break. Give me a break of that Kit Kat bar. So, they might have reinforcements spawning. I'm going to regroup my uh, forces here. Just regroup everyone. Yeah, they got reinforcement spawning. Re spawning in. I could speak English. Uh, and it doesn't look like they're going to... Are they moving forward? Are they holding their ground? Looks like they're just going to hold their ground. So we're going to have to move up our troops here. Oh, what the heck? Okay, a bunch just spawned in. All right. Archers, archers. Right here. Infantry. Right here. Cav. Here. I'm going to get a little bit closer and see what, uh, what they're working with. They still have... Oh, no, they're running. They're running. They are full on running. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. All right, everyone, everyone charge. Die! And what I'll do now, look at these guys. No wonder they're running. They're all peasants. They're all peasants. Oh my gosh, Valandia. I feel sorry for you. All right, nice little victory there. Uh, we only lost 33, so uh, I think we're going to have to finish this army. So, yeah, I think uh, let's, let's actually leave for a second. Wait for reinforcements, and then we'll go in. And then we'll just send in the troops, and, uh, perfect. We lost, uh, how many troops here? Mm, two. Excellent. And we got some prisoners, and leveling up. This is so good. So after that battle, our tactics leveled up. This is huge. It's gonna help us, like, kind of auto-resolve. Yo, this is actually pretty good. Pick them off the walls. So double damage to siege defender personnel with 25% chance. Double damage to besieging personnel with 25. So yeah, as the engineer or governor, or, well, I'm neither of these, so none of this matters. So, but I, if I was an engineer, I'd go with this one. I'd go with that one. Uh, just because I feel like we're going to be on the attack a lot soon. Wow, an army of 700 out of nowhere. Look at that. Okay. Well, that's fine. So we're just going to chill here. We do need to manage these castles. I've kind of... Oh, yeah. Let's go in. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I got 715. I'm ready to go. We're going to help the army. And this is clearly going to be a nice victory here. Easy peasy. Just glad to have helped. Glad to have helped. You're my prisoner now. You're my prisoner now. Nice cape there uh we do have some troops that we can add to the army excellent and we got some prisoners and we got some leveling up so we have a bit too many prisoners so um it might become a, they might sneak out they might escape a little bit i don't really care they can escape all they want i might go on the attack here actually now i want to manage these castles because we haven't yet so this one and this one but I'm looking at Sargod, and it's looking juicy right now. Like, oh my gosh, give me a piece of that. Well, Kit Kat bar. 
All right, there we go. So we're gonna besiege the town and uh, get ready the uh, the assault. Okay, so all the trebuchet are done. We've gathered a huge army with a lot of mercenaries, to be honest. But our army size is 1,044. So now what we're gonna do is rely on the trebuchet to soften up the defenses here. I'm gonna try not to destroy the walls. I just wanna destroy all their, their siege equipment. And then we're gonna go attack. Okay, we destroyed all the siege equipment. Um, I can go ahead and get some more prisoners in the army. This is not going to be an easy battle. Many brave souls will be lost in taking Sargot, but I think this is going to be a very important mark of this war. Important uh, moment in this great war against the uh, Valandians. So here we go. Whoa, look at this castle over here. This is really cool. I love the keep back there. Um, I would love to own this city. I would love to. But you, after gaining, after gaining like three castles in a row, I really don't think I'm going to get this one. Uh, but we can, we can, we can hope for it, right? We can, we can try to get it. Man, this really is a cool looking castle. Uh, I, it looks awesome. I don't ever remember this. I, I think they've been updating the, the settlements. I don't know. Is this always looked like this? Has Sargon always looked this cool? Maybe it's because, like, every time I play it, I rarely go to this area. Like, I, I think I played as the Valandians, like, once. Oh, my gosh. And we're shragging them right now. They have yet to kill a single one of us. We are shragging them. Right now, we're just waiting for the siege equipment to get up there. And they are just getting... Oh, they finally wounded one of my soldiers but yeah we are just turning these guys to dust with all the arrow fire coming down i love the artillery the trebuchet still firing there we go they finally killed one so we've lost one they've lost 21 plus 10 wounded yes keep firing men show them no mercy yeah i think i'm gonna go through the gate here because i always have more luck fighting at the gate rather than the uh, the siege towers. And for some reason, their backs are turned to us. That's fine. You think that's uh, supposed to, you know, is that going to intimidate us? Like, what are you, what are you doing there? Uh, but here we go. The ram is at the gate. Let's go ahead and help out the ram. Not that this does much. Doing 54 damage. Let us in. Let me in. I think max damage is like 54. The further back you go with this big axe, the more damage. Because like the closer you do, it's less. You see that? The further away. Charge! Now they could throw... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I got wrecked! Dang it! I wish I could just play as one of the common soldiers in this battle, like after you go down. That was kind of dumb of me. I should have been looking up there. But now it's up to my army to break through. I think they will. I hope they will. It's pretty even right now. Man, I wanted to fight in that so bad. I probably should have went up here. Once we take a wall, come on, take a wall. Look at this poor guy just hanging, just hanging out. These guys are just chilling. <laughs> come on, guys, break through, break through. We must take this. We've almost taken the gate. Not really, they're holding, they're reinforcing. Over on this side, they're running out of troops though. There we go. There we go. Look at all that green. Look at all that green. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. That was like classic Apollo moment. Epic Siege dies in the first, you know, gets knocked out in the first couple minutes, you know? <laughs> all right, so we're just going to send in the troops to finish this off. And uh, there we go. Uh, we took the castle just like that, and we unlocked 34 troops, which honestly, I could use them all. No, not all of them, actually. 
Okay, well, hopefully we just got the best ones in there. Uh, we got some leveling up to do as well. Not a lot of leveling up, though. I was kind of hoping there would be more uh, leveling up. So I'm going to show Mercy. And we're just going to chill in this, uh, this settlement here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just disband the army as well. I got what I needed out of them, which is taking Sargot. And when will the Valandians surrender? Seek peace. That is the question. All right, so here comes the big moment. Are we going to get Sargot? Here we go. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. No way. Uh, yeah. I will gladly take Sargot as I led the charge in taking Sargot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, honey, <laughs> I've got another city for you to visit. All right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six thieves. Territories. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's manage this town. All right, now we get this is going to be a little bit more tricky compared to um, the castles because they can get upset. Now, currently we're at 73 um, loyalty, but it's minus five. Uh, so what we're going to have to do, I would like to finish this building because they're going to finish it in nine days. This city is well developed. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. They have no food, though. Yeah, we got to build the granary next. We got to get them some food. Well, we're going to chill in here for a little bit. Let the army heal up. My army's pretty much fully healed, actually. Um, I need to heal up. Oh, wait. We got... Okay. Well, let's get extra troops here. And we're going to... Just go ahead and, and... Stop. Stop. Let's go manage... Let's go to the keep. Manage the garrison. And we're just going to drop off. Uh, there's already a, wow all the other vassals were very generous in dropping off troops But I'm gonna go ahead and drop off some troops as well like, you know level one level two uh, recruits and stuff and and go from there Okay, so we put a couple troops in there not a ton now. Here's the thing we got to deal with the um, The population being upset. I mean, I get it. This is a major city and we, It was just taken by an enemy. So you're not gonna be too too, too happy so what we have to do is probably get a companion that's decent at steward and that is Valandian. So we can put them as the governor. So we got a couple here. Uh, don't really like you. Duh. Leadership is okay, but you're kind of a devious fellow. fellow. Um, <clears throat> we've got you. You're a good hunter, but not a good leader. Oh! Here we go. This guy's pretty well-rounded. He's got some steward skill. He's got some trade skill. Um, he's... He, yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. So, um, he was last seen at this city way over there. <sighs> it's not too far, but I do worry about our city being attacked. So... And, um... Okay, this is what we're gonna do. First off, actually, we need to go back. First off, we need to manage the town, and we need to cancel uh, this. So, w w by doing that, I just want them to finish the garrison because it's going to be done in nine days. And then, we do irrigation. I don't know. Their food's getting a little bit better, so that's good. Um, but yeah, we need to uh, we need to not build too much so they don't get too upset. And we could propose peace treat 52%. I say yes. I say yes. Peace. All right. All right. So this, this is huge because we're now getting money from the Valandians. Yeah, they're paying us 2,200. Okay. Um, they're, the Southern Empire is paying us 1,000. Batanians are paying us 1,000. Western Empire paying us a thousand. The Kuzates were paying five hundred and fifty. It's kind of weird, but yeah, uh, we're winning, guys. This is what winning looks like. The Empire's kind of taking a weird shape. It's kind of like this random, you know, angle of cities, but we are winning.
So now that we have peace and I don't have to worry about my city being attacked or any of my castles, I'm going to go uh, stop by the nearest castle, manage it, and then look for this companion so he can be a governor. Voting declare war against the Kuzates. Guys, are we sure you want to do this? Okay, I'm going to abstain from this. I'll let them fight this war because none of my cities are near the Kuzates, so... I'm going to kind of go housekeeping here and just manage my properties. And the first thing we need to do uh, is actually go to our garrison of Sargot and just do like 1,500. I kind of want it to be fairly have a lot of money there because um, I want uh, it's it's in the front line. It's a dangerous, you know, area, you know. I assume they're going to declare war on us, and Sargot's going to be one of the main targets uh, with the Valandians. All right, so here we are at the castle. Um, let's go ahead and put in 10,000 here to help with the, the growth. They're happy, man. They are happy, even though we're building and everything. Yeah, keep it going. Keep it going. And castles can't rebel, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we can do festival and games. That helps a little bit. Yeah, we'll just do festival and games. And uh, keep it going. Keep it going. All right, we just have so many properties. I don't know what to do. Uh, but we're going to go to this castle now. And just check up on it. See if they're still building. Everything's looking good. Yeah, uh, they're still building. Um, they need more money. That's for sure. And everything else looks good. So as long as they keep on building. Go, go, go. Now we're going to head to our other city. Which, of course, my wife is at. I should say hi. We're making 5,000 gold per turn. Whew. Whew. It's good. Life is good. Life is good in Calradia. Oh, it looks like we found one of our caravans. At this point, we don't really need a caravan. So what I could do is make them governors of castles, you know, or just lead their own armies. So we got a bunch of loot. So I'm going to go ahead and trade all of this loot and make oh wow way too much for this okay we're trading too much here okay so we'll get like thirty-seven thousand gold out of them all right so let's continue our journey after making our money and uh we need to try to quickly um recruit this guy so he can he can make our new city happy uh and you never know like i feel like any of these factions literally valandians western empire uh, Southern Empire, they could declare war on us at any second. So we got to be quick about this. And we, we always got to just constantly prepare our castles and settlements for war. All right. So uh, let's see. Let's go to the tavern. Here he is. Let's talk to the fellow. All right. So he's pretty cheap. 300 gold. He's joined the, uh, the army. Can we recruit here? Oh, yeah, we can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's uh, let's head back to our new city and get him governor, which is going to help things on in, in many ways. It's not only going to make them happier; they're also going to have like bonuses and building and stuff in certain categories. So let's just head over there and, and and make him governor. A vote for marshals. So armies led by tier five nobles require ten percent less influence. Influence of the ruler clan is reduced by one per day. I'm going to abstain from this. I mean that sounds nice. Tier 5 plus. Is that us? Is that us? We are tier 4, almost 5. So pretty soon. Alright, we made it back to Sargot. A great city. Now under our control. Let's go. So we're going to go in here. And like I said, let's make him a governor. Yes. And that makes him a little bit happier. And remember, we're trying to finish the barracks here. And then once we do... We're going to let them simmer down. We're going to let them be a little bit happier. See how two more days? Let's just wait two more days and see where they're at in terms of their happiness. Oh, and good news, our scouting went up. Uh, so as party leader, we can move more than 50%. Uh, let's see. When fighting against... Uh, I guess we'll do the... Uh, when we have more than 50% cav, you gain 10% sight range bonus. Increase party size limit by five. That's huge. Uh, because now we can go ahead and add some prisoners to the army. And I'm just going to get the best of the best to join us because not all of the prisoners can join us just yet. So we'll just go with the highest tier ones and we'll be good to go. All right. So we just finished the building. 
managed the town and they're happy now that's good that's all i wanted to make sure that's what's going to happen they're happy now it's plus two they've got radford radfrad the blah, 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 whatever uh he is going to take care of them he's going to make sure they're a-okay and i know this might be kind of boring but i'm going to go through every single territory and just make sure they're doing well and they're building and they're expanding and helping me get rich because right now we're making almost six thousand gold per day yo all right we managed all our castles and uh I mean, look at this chunk of territory right here. I mean, we, we probably could form our own kingdom. We probably could, but I'm serving these guys loyally. Loyal, I'm, ser I'm being loyal, okay? I'm going to be a loyal lord for now, for now. Uh, but, you know, we could venture our way. Here's my fear. We could venture our way over all the way against the Kuzates, or we could just let them handle it. I know it's going to be boring to just sit around here. I just know that while I'm over here against the Kuzates, the Western Empire, the Vlandians, the Southern Empire, whatever, uh, they're going to they're gonna attack us. And my all my territories are kind of the heart of the front line against all these forces. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill for a second. I'm going to go hang out with my wife, tell her some war stories, you know, and uh, kill these looters over here because they're in my territory. Yeah, you die. Oh my gosh, there's another 22 looters over here. This is annoying. Get out of here. Get out of my lands. Wow, he's kind of fast though. Is he fast enough? Is he fast enough for me? Wait, no, he's no not. Door. Yo, check this out. So we're just chilling here, hanging out with my wife, you know, spending quality family time. Uh, and look at this. The army over there took the city of Tau. Uh, so uh, it would be hilarious if they gave it to me. But I don't think that's gonna happen man we let's see ready <laughs> no which is fine i don't need that city uh but yeah that's that's huge because it really pushes the kuzates into the corner i really don't care about the kuzates at all uh i i, I honestly just i mean i'm glad we took that territory up there it's a good one and it kind of like connects all of our lands but really, I want to go to war with the Western Empire. If we could, they only have one, two, three, four, five cities. Uh, we could gobble up some territory and carve up the center of Calradia. Um, but yeah, again, I, I could, I could be over there helping out. But, eh, I just know as soon as I go over there, I'm going to get attacked. I mean, there's some fat stack of looters over here that we can go after. Look at this guy, just chugging away. Yeah, not today. Yeah, you're gonna fight. How about that? Thanks for the experience. I appreciate it. Okay, so since our economy's doing pretty well, it is starting to go down a little bit. We're only making 4,000. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking we need to get some armies going um, some just to make the empire that much stronger. So we're gonna take um, the exiled here. I don't know what happened to her. We're going to make her... I think originally she led an army. We're going to give her another army. So we need to call her to the clan and then... Or, or to the, the party. And then we need to, I guess, get the spice vendor. And she could lead an army as well. Let's see. How's her leadership? Her stewardship's pretty good. So she would do a good job. So yeah, let's call her to the army as well. And we're going to go ahead and head to Legete, Legeta. Now, we have too many troops right now, so we need to... Um, okay, well, let's, do, let's do this. We're going to go ahead and take... Where is she? Where is she? Yeah, here she is. So, um, we want to go ahead and give her... We go to Inventory. And there she is. So we're going to upgrade her armor and get her ready for generalship. Oh wait, you know what I just realized? We gotta we gotta buy some stuff because we don't we kinda sold everything, so let's get her some nice equipment. Yo! Yo! I just found some better armor for myself. Okay. It's just better condition. This helmet. Oh dude, this helmet? Same stats, but looks way cooler. Definitely looking more empire like. Definitely looking cool. Okay. 39,000 gold, not a big deal. 
All right, let's get her ready. She needs some cooler stuff. So let's give her my old helmet. <laughs> my old suit of arms. There we go. Um, let's see. What else can we get her? Okay, we'll get her this. Oh, yeah. She's looking like the old biggest. Okay, and then we need to get her a shield. Ooh, $15,000. Let's do the little bit cheaper one. Let's get her a better... Get her spear and uh, let's get a is this two-handed two-handed or one-handed it's your choice sweetie and we'll get her another I don't know maybe like something to throw something to throw I don't know that's fine she's good and then we should probably get her a better horse here we'll give her actually is this is this better armor than yes Okay, we'll get... Oh, man, we're... Ooh, we're looking good. Okay, cool. So, we got better horse armor. Let's see. What's the best horse you can ride? Oh, wait, that's not you. Um, There she is. Uh, What's the best horse you can ride? Let's see. This one. Yeah, let's get you this horse. Oh, that's kind of cool. White horse over there. And we've got the extra horse armor. So, let's hook her up. There we go. Oh yeah, she's kind of sexy though. Yeah, and we'll just give her some. There we go, dude. She's not. She's looking pretty cool. Uh, now she does need a banner, of course. So let's see what banners we have. Oh, I'll just give her the most expensive one. We got decreased taken, ranged attack damage. That's always good. There you go. There you go. Uh, very cool. Uh, she's looking good. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh my gosh, that's okay. We have some stuff to sell. Okay, yeah, it's a little too expensive. We don't have enough to, like, so we're gonna have to like lessen here. Like we'll get her cheaper gloves. Sorry, sorry, false, false alarm there. Here, it still looks, oh, those look awesome. It's still too expensive, so uh, maybe some, oh, sexy woman. You know what, you know what? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, there we go. <laughs> She'll be ready. She's good to go. <laughs> she is good to go. So we need to go ahead and make her lead her own party. But before we do that, what we're going to do is go to our party and I'm going to accept all of these prisoners. Okay. All of these prisoners or right, recruit all. Now, uh, that's going to make some of my forces upset. What we're going to do is give all those extra troops to them. When I say them, we're going to go here. Let's go to parties, create new party. We're going to use um, our first person here. Spice vendor. And we're just going to go in and just give them the low tier stuff. All right, cool. So we gave her 41 troops there to get started. And for her party... She needs to uh, not do unlimited wage. We'll do like, look at her sexy woman ready to lead an army. Yeah. All right, we'll give her like a thousand two hundred, and we'll say make her um, we'll make her defensive. All right, cool. So go out there, slay, be an independent woman. Yeah. So right now we're waiting for another, um, because we called over. Oh, there we go. Wait, no. Are they here yet? Okay, owner of... Okay, we got a new castle. Whatever, don't care. Not gonna vote. Not my problem. But I'm looking... Who did we call over? We go to our clan. Moving... Yeah, where are you? Join me. So she's gonna lead... She's kind of cruel, but... She's gonna lead an army of herself as well. We're gonna have two, two babes lead in armies. I guess we'll just wait inside the city. All right, declaring war on the Western Empire. Guys, are we sure we want to do that right now? Um, that would be kind of silly to do right now. I abstain. All right, well, we're at war with the Western Empire. And guys, honestly, this is going to be a good uh, stopping point here. Uh, and we will see how this war is going to go. Uh, we need to... Thankfully, we're starting to get our own generals here. And we need to get them... 
We need to get them going, right? We need to get them so they can join us for free and uh, help us fight against the Western Empire. Uh, I don't like the fact that we're doing this. I don't like a two-front war, but it is what it is. So, guys, this is where we're going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. I do appreciate the support, and I'll see you next time on the Battlefield.